All right, hi everyone, and we're back. Um, this is like episode 18, oh my god, of the meanderings with Juliana in the um, Agatha Christie's The ABC Novels, or The ABC Murders, sorry. Um, it feels like a novel at this point that I'm, that I'm videoing you through. Um, hopefully you, you don't hate this. Um, at this point, um, I'm hoping to be done very soon. We've, in the last episode, we apparently apprehended our suspect, um, and so now we're going to his room somewhere in London as I move things drastically around on the table with sudden movements. I'm terribly sorry. Um, so we're kind of gonna go a look at uh, what we've got going on here. Um, I've been going past this modest guest house for so long. I would never have thought that the ABC case would lead me here. Marbury. There is a very pretty village by this name in Cheshire. Mm. Looking for anything that we might um, use to help us. Um, or clues or um I've been going past this so that's not new okay so uh at this point I would have to say we're actually going in and um doing something so hopefully this is the last or second to last episode we'll find out soon um so It is a very beautiful piano. Maybe Mrs. Marbury likes to play in her free time. Okay, so we're going to, I guess, look over here. Sorry, I'm much more of an observer person in these games. It looks like I've found the real master of this house. <laughs> There is no need to worry about the household cat. I'm sure that Mrs. Marbury lets it do what it pleases. How do you do? You must be Mr. Hercule Praro. Chief Inspector Chap told me that you might be coming. That is a lot of potatoes. Madame, you may be of valuable help to me. It would be my pleasure to help you. Will there be some journalists there as well? I think you might even be interviewed. You are a key witness. I've suspected him for some time, but he appeared so harmless. Oh yes, sometimes he got angry and waved his arms about. But even then, he wasn't frightening. And he was as gentle as a lamb again immediately afterwards. It was only this morning that I understood. He told me he was going to Cheltenham. But my daughter saw him at Euston Station. It's not the right station. To get to Cheltenham, you have to take the train from Paddington. And what's more, Mr. Cuss left behind an ABC with Doncaster underlined. Hmm. As you can imagine, when I saw that, I called Scotland Yard. Well done. You were right. He did go to Doncaster. So I was right to warn the police. Uh, tell me... Did you have any other reason to suspect Mr. Kirst? Well, he's odd. Sometimes he coughs really loudly and complains that his throat is burning, and sometimes he talks to himself and stares into space. Huh. He told me that it was because of a wound he got in the wall. His head hasn't been quite right since, he said. And then he was in Churston when that millionaire got murdered. I found his train ticket when I washed his coat. He didn't want me to wash his shirt. He washed it himself. But I did see big brown stains on it. Where were the stains on the shirt? On the collar and on the buttonholes. Cut used to travel for his work. Is that correct? Oh, it wasn't for pleasure. He was always on well on trains. But he had to sell his stockings around England. I have to respect my engagements, he used to say. 
Do you know where Kerst hmm. was at the time of the murder in Andover and Bexhill? On June the 21st and July the 25th? No, I don't know. That was a while ago, you know. But surely you keep a register. It won't do you much good. Mr. Kerst rents his room for the year. If he goes away for a few days, I have no reason to make a note of it. Hmm. Ah! I remember one thing. Bexhill's by the sea, right? Indeed. It is a large seaside resort. Well, as it happens, at the start of July, Mr. Cast asked me to repair his bathing dress. Hmm. Suspicious, huh? Very interesting. Please continue. I also forgot to say that he started buying newspapers that talked about the case. Ask when he started buying newspapers and ask or ask for more details about the news. Damn it! When did he start buying the newspapers? Let's see. I think it was just after the millionaire's murder in Churchton. He didn't seem all that interested before that. Interesting. That will be all for now. I'm going to take a look at his room. Take the key on the counter. I need the key to Kest's home. Oops. My bad. I don't think my register... Okay. Oops. The truth is becoming apparent. And I have something to say to Mrs. Marbury. I have something to say to Mrs. Marbury. Okay. This woman appears to be in a good mood. Mrs. Marbury is in a good mood. She is working very precisely in producing incredibly thin peel. Mrs. Marbury, if I am to believe the register, you rented room 306 to a certain Mr. Fishman on the day of the Bexhill murder? Room 306 is Kirst's room. Can you explain yourself? Yes, I remember. Just for one night as a favor, Mr. Cust was away, all my other rooms were taken, and poor Mr. Fishman had nowhere to go. It doesn't matter, provided that you remembered to change the sheets. Oh, do you think so? Mr. Cust's room is right there on the third floor. Laudanum Cameron's Chemists. Hmm. Laudanum, a medicine for coughs. It is what Dr. Clark prescribed for Mrs. Asher. Yes. This subject will probably be useful to me. Huh. Diethyl barbituric acid, Johnson Company. I know this medicine. It is a powerful sedative. This subject would probably be useful to me. Yes. There's chloroform in that. That's kind of crazy, but, you know, hey. Um. How hopeful. This place is a real mess.
The least we can say is that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. Mm. ABC guys, enough to sign about a dozen murders. It's closed. Mm. It's closed. ABC. It's closed. ABC. Trousers, white shirts. Everything has been washed very well. All the main articles referring to the ABC case are here, from the Churston murder onwards. Nothing before that date. The Bexhill Daily Paper, dated from the day of the Bexhill murder. Trousers, white... Most probably the bathing dress repaired by Mrs. Marbury's expert hands. ABC guys, enough to sign about a dozen murders. It's closed. It's closed. It's an ABC. A long bladed knife. A murderous weapon. This object would probably be useful to me. John Milligan, managing director. Silky Legs, Frederick Street, Leicester. To A.B. Cust, Marbury's Guest House, 1935, May the 21st. Dear Sir, Further to our letters dated 5th and 10th of the month, we confirm we are you as door-to-door -door salesman, according to the conditions stated in our previous letters. We will send you the articles by mail and also a Redfield typewriter we will be using for every business letter. Regarding the schedule of your rounds, please do as following. June 21, Andover. Arrive by train the 20th in the evening and get a room at Station Hotel. Start your turn in the north part of the town. This letter establishes that Cust went to Andover, but the ink has hidden the destinations of his other trips. <sighs> I know from Mrs. Marbury that he went to Churston. I just have to show that he went to Bexhill and I will have proof that he was present at all the crime scenes. True. Did Cust drop it when he opened the window? Or was it Mrs. Marbury while she was cleaning? Cust is parsimonious. He keeps his pencils and sharpens them until there is nothing left. It is clear that he did not grow up in luxury. I have to get the ribbon. How am I going to do it? Hmm. Oh, the joys of ribbons. The right hand heel has been removed. Left hand. Left hand, left hand. All right, and soon I will stop this one. Uh. The left hand heel has been removed.
Something is blocking the ribbon. Something is blocking. Okay. There we go. And here is the ribbon. <gasps> Let us see if it was indeed used to write the letters sent by ABC. There's another way you could check, but we're gonna let that go. I only need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. I will let Jack clean the keyboard if he wishes. <laughs> Alright. I will stop it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're really close, I promise. A couple more episodes, maybe. And then we'll be done with this. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this little you know, meandering game. It's very linear. There's not much for me to get lost in, thankfully. Um, no real side quest or anything. That's, that's what happens with me in caves. Um, but thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Constructive criticism. If you like what you're seeing and you're repeatedly coming back to watch your shows, just subscribe. It'll make your life a little easier, I promise. Um, anyway, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you, like, watching my videos. Um, and the other we're doing it wrong videos so much. Got no idea. Um, just thank you again, and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, please, have a good day. And a great week, or a great couple days until the next video. Um, anyway, bye.